What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, MJ Capital, name change from Mark's Stock Review. Brief video on sundial growers, going over key metrics and whether I think there's gonna be a reverse split. Also, whether I think there's gonna be a share buyback soon and other events that will move the share price. And as always, organized and to the point, so let's get right into it. Very quickly, two key points. Last video, I said the biggest risk for sundial was a delay in the upcoming Q1 ER. Fortunately, that did not happen. And number two, a reminder that this ER only includes sales from Nova and Alcana for one day. So let's take a look at this latest ER. There's certainly good news. There's improvement in net loss, gross margin, and net revenue, which was up 78% compared to year prior. Also, interest revenue from investments is way up. I talked about this last video, how they're able to take advantage of distressed cannabis companies needing loans, charging high interest rates with potential future stakes in the companies. So the big question, why is the share price not skyrocketing if net revenue is up 78%, not even including Alcana and Nova? And from my point of view, one major reason, adjusted EBITDA, a loss of 0.7 million compared to a positive 3.3 million, year prior, mainly due to a big loss in operations. So speaking of a loss from operations, remember it's the CEO's goal to be free cash flow positive by end 2022. And so I took a little bit of a deep dive to see how they're doing. Number one, accounts receivables went up in Q4. That's not good. Basically means that Sundial is not collecting cash from their customers quick enough. Number two, huge increase in inventory. That's also not good, meaning that Sundial purchases more goods than they're selling. And number three, prepaid expenses and deposits went up. That's also not good, basically means cash is going out that Sundial can't yet recognize on their balance sheet. However, accounts payable did go up, and that's a good sign, plus current liabilities almost tripled since Q3 of 2021. And that shows that Sundial is trying to conserve their cash. So next ER, take a look at these numbers real quick to see what direction they're trending, and that's going to give you a sense of whether they're going to be free cash flow by end of 2022. Okay, to move on, do I think a reverse split is coming? And yes, I do think there will be a reverse split unless we get the Senate bill prior. However, my prediction is that the Senate bill is not going to come until August, and I don't think the CEO is going to wait that long. But I do have to say, if the reverse split does come, I think it's going to be in a time of increasing strength. We have improving metrics and a Q2 that's going to include the Alcana and Nova numbers. And from where I'm coming from, I'm not as worried about a reverse split as I was a couple months ago. Okay, moving on to what else can move the share price. Share buyback. Unlikely from my point of view because they're not free cash flow positive, or at least to the size of net earnings. And once positive, that cash is going to go back into the company to grow it or buy back shares, assuming the share price is cheaper than the intrinsic value. Okay, so what else can move the share price? We have the Senate introduction of their own decriminalization bill. My prediction, Friday, August 5th. Number two, dovish statements coming out of the next Fed meeting. And number three, China lockdown ending. And number four, resolution to the Ukraine war. Careful, it may get worse before it gets better. Both Sweden and Finland want to join NATO and Russia may retaliate. And last, signs of inflation subsiding. Next, CPI inflation numbers come out 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, June 10th. So expect heavy volume pre-market that day. And moving on, I listed a few macro headwinds to keep an eye on. And to summarize, a mixed ER. And lots of uncertainty between now and Q2 earnings report. Overall, from my point of view, a good time to be accumulating shares. And as promised, organized and to the point to respect your time. So feel free to subscribe for more videos like these. Until then, have a great rest of your day and I'll be talking to you very soon. Take care.